Space 101.1, KMGP LPFM Seattle, welcomes you to Broken Alaska, the world's only ongoing improvised radio drama series. We open this time at Annika's house, where she and Gordy, the Canadian oil company geologist, are sharing a romantic dinner. Here, Annika, let me dish up a little bit of pasta for you. Thank you. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you. May I have a little of the pepper, please? Yes, of course. Here, let me grind it for you first. Thank you. There you go. That's really kind. Oh, Uh, I'm sorry. Could you pass me a fork? I forgot to put one in. uh, Absolutely. Thank you. Here you you go. Oh, that's good. I really am excited about the fact that we caught the salmon for the pasta together. Mm -hmm. I, I like to catch things a lot. Fish butterflies. I, I I just enjoy catching things. Well, I don't know how you knew that my favorite pasta sauce is a mix of Alfredo and pesto. Well, I kind of did a little background search on you, Gordy. Really? I did. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'm glad you think so. I was a little worried you might be freaked out. You know, it was so exciting to do this together. And when you gutted the salmon. Yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you, Annika, it was kind of a turn on. Really? <laughs> I really love working with a knife (laughs) so uh what about those holes in town did you find anything you know i didn't find anything on may i have the salt please oh yes thank you you know and it's weird because the map that they sent me from the head office in winnipeg Uh uh-huh there should have been oil all over this town but i've already drilled 28 test holes and i haven't found anything except these weird caverns that seem to be going under the town that's really odd uh do you want a little more wine oh yes okay here you go Oh, thank you. Uh Uh-huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I think maybe somebody had switched the maps and put Broken's name on a map from another town. What? Oil companies are honorable places. I can't believe that somebody would switch like that. Hmm. That's really very interesting. Hmm. Salad? Oh, please. Thank you. Okay, here you go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. That that was... Oh, another tremor. Another tremor. Oh, knock the wine over. Um, let me oh, get another here. glass. Yeah, let me get a towel. I'll okay. mop that up. They're getting bigger. And they're getting sooner together, too. They are. I'm afraid, Annika. I think we what? should get out of this town as soon as we can. Gordy, you're just going to leave? What about the geologist oath? I, I, I thought you had to stay until everything was finished. And Well, there's a little known addendum to the geologist oath that says you can leave if you're going to die. Oh. And Annika, if I was you, I'd come with me. I have some work I still have to do here. Are you sure you have to go? What about the holes? You're supposed to repair the holes. Oh, no, no, no. I don't fill in the holes. That's a whole different department of the oil company. I just drill holes. Somebody else fills them in. I thought you told everybody in town that you were going to fill in the holes. I tell everybody that. It just makes the job go a little easier. Besides, it was kind of the royal we, meaning the oil company, not me personally. I got it. If I had to fill in every hole I've ever drilled, it would take me three lifetimes. Oh, yeah, I could see that. So you're leaving. I think you should leave too. There's something strange going on in this town. Like, for example, Brooks Books and other things. Uh I was really, really careful when I took the roof off and when I drilled by the front desk. But that place, a gentle breeze could knock it over. The one thing I'm going to miss about this town is you. Oh. I'm thinking since you travel a lot for business and I travel a lot for business, Uh you know, maybe you could come visit me sometimes. So, I mean, I really like you and I feel I can, I can trust you. So I have a secret that I've been keeping from everybody here in town that I, I don't want to keep from you i want to tell you everything about who i am and and how i operate and 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 i want to travel and well i do travel and and i want to hear it all annika okay here it is i am you're a bounty hunter i am really really wow that was an amazing guess that was wow wow you really do know me this is awesome great so you don't have a problem with what i do for a living no do you ever have to kill people i don't like to talk about work at dinner but yeah i do sometimes have to apply a certain motivation well i have to tell you something yeah when i was in university studying to be a geologist Uh uh-huh in the summer my job was i worked for a loan shark breaking legs (sighs) Wow, so you really understand my business. Oh, yeah. I can show you the most efficient way to break someone's leg. 
I can show you ways to break a leg quickly or silently or with maximum pain. Now, to the are you victim. breaking the femur? Or are you breaking like the uh, tibia and fibula? You know, I like to improvise that. Okay, because the femur's really hard to break. Yeah, well, you know, I'm strong, so. Well, I know. <laughs> so if you know you give me where you're going to be and uh my business takes me nearby i can come and stay with you i hope you don't mind sometimes i'm out you know in the woods and all alone it's the kind of place where you're out under the stars in the woods and a man and a woman can be a man and a woman if you know what i mean i do that's awesome <laughs> oh annika we have so much in common we do um I'm kind of not as hungry as I was a few minutes ago. I've lost my appetite for food. George has all the gold he could ever want, but he still likes to get rid of tension by taking some good solid wax with his pickaxe. He's in the homemade gold mine under his shack. Brick is with him. I'm impressed with your tunneling. This has come along really well. You seem to be a little uptight. I can see you biting your lip over there. If you bite any harder, it's going to start bleeding. Yeah, I'm I'm worried. Louise is missing. I've been to every hotel in Las Vegas. I've just about been to every bar in Las Vegas. Not a word. Not a peep. Nothing. Well, that kind of worries me uh, that we haven't heard anything from her. You know what? I even went to Louisiana. I, I went to my Cajun cousins, and you know how much I love them. All right, they've got the Cajun Navy out looking for her. Everybody's out looking for her. You know what? Maybe, maybe Louise is right. Maybe I live in an illusion. Maybe I am incompetent. Maybe I'm just... Yeah, you probably are. Hand me that shovel. Oh, here, have a shovel. That's kind of like we're looking for Mark's cat. I've... Everything's disappearing. You know what, George? I, I, I'm at the end of my tether. I don't know what to do next. No one here wants to help me. No, I cannot find her. I mean, I feel helpless. I feel useless. You know, I know how to relieve all that pressure that you're having and all no, that you anger. Don't. Yes, no, I you do. Don't. I, no, you uh, don't. Look, it, there's a pickaxe right next to you. Pick that up and start swinging it at that wall. I, I am not swinging a pickaxe. Come on. Because yes. I tell you what. I, I, my mind is going at 100 miles an hour. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. What can look, I do? Look, What's look, the look, secret stop here? Stop thinking. How's that going to help me, George? How's that going to make me feel better? It'll relieve the pressure. It'll make you feel good because you get angry and then you got something to swing at. If it wasn't for that wall and them pickaxes, I'd probably kill 10 people in this town. I, I, I don't get angry. That's wonderful. You're doing such a great job. Keep going. Oh, that See hurts. how that feels? Oh, my God. What's this? Oh, my God. You went through the wall. Hang on a minute. Let me give another swing. Wait a minute, Brett. Let's examine this That's, hole that you just punched through. There's what, air what's coming What's back there? Through. There's air coming this way. It's, That's it looks like huge. another tunnel. It is a tunnel. My gosh. Let me shine my flashlight in there and see what's in there. <coughs> oh, that dust. Oh my oh, god. Man, look at Well what the devil is this? I wonder if that damn honey badger's been doing that. Hey, he's been digging under your house, obviously, because your whole foundation feels like it's rocking. I have had enough of this honey badger. I've had enough of the holes in this town. This town's so Swiss cheesed right now because of that Gordy guy. This place is going to hell. I wonder if the Badger and him are in it together. No, Gordy's just a stupid miner. You know, people make promises here. Lars told me that Badger was staying on the ship, all right? And obviously it isn't. And where has he been? I haven't seen him around for a while. Yeah, well, Lars is off with Kitty and Denise on their little world tour of their libraries. He's, he's just ignoring the Viking funeral business. He's ignoring the spa. He's ignoring the... He's ignoring everything. You know what? I'm going to the Moshi Moshi. I'm going to find that badger. Put him in a place where he can't get out, and that means steel, and that means that ship. That's the place to keep him. So we got three things to look for now. We got Mark's cat to look for, Louise, and that stupid honey badger. I'm going to go down and fix this. As we leave George's mine, we find Rose headed over to Mark's house with the latest batch of her Warren G. Harding brownies to give him a little taste. It's beginning to look like the relationship he's always wanted with Rose might just happen. 
Hi, Mark. Oh, here, let me take off my shoes at the front door here. Um, sorry to barge right in, but I actually brought over a couple of different samples of the Warren G. Harding brownies. Oh. I've been experimenting with the recipe now that that herb is ready to put in. And, mm -hmm. and I was hoping maybe you could try out a couple of the samples. What do you think? Uh, yeah. I kind of want everybody in town to take a couple of samples because uh, before I start selling it up at the produce stand, I want to make sure it tastes really good. The, the herb has kind of an odd smell, so I don't want that to come across in the recipe recipe, but uh, and can I ask you something? Sure. I've kind of gotten the feeling that maybe some people don't actually like my baked goods up at the produce stand. Like, you um, know, sometimes people look at my croissants a little funny and stuff, and are people, are people saying bad stuff about my baked goods? Your baked goods always have a very interesting, fascinating Texture Interesting. and consistency. Fascinating consistency. Yeah, they yeah. they always have a certain yeah taste to them, a certain body that uh, body. You know, because last week I was trying to offer Heather some of my croissants, and she she, <laughs> she looked like she really didn't want one. So um, it, you like my croissants, don't you, Mark? Uh, okay. It just may be that Heather's palate. Isn't as refined, well, maybe, as does, some. She, you she know, may not I fully appreciate right. the whole... I think you're right. I think Heather just doesn't appreciate my food. Right. Anyway, so I brought some of the brownies over, and would you like to try one? I have four different varieties. Would you like to try one now? Here, try uh, this one. This is labeled number one, number and, one. and I'm going to mm -hmm. keep track of which one you think is the best. Have a little nibble. Hmm. It's okay. good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Very firm. <laughs> yeah. Here, how, about, how about number two? Take a little bite of number two. All right, number two. two. Hmm. That one's a little softer, a little chewier. Yeah, you yeah. Uh -huh. I guess I was overcompensating for how firm number one was. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, here. Here, try a little bite of number three. Number three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this one I think has a little more chocolatey flavor to it. It's maybe a little too bitter. I don't know. Is it? Oh. Is it okay? The herb has got... This too herby. It's a little too, too herby. God, and I thought that trying, one was too herby. Dang you're it. trying to mask it a bit too much oh, with the with the yeah, bitterness yeah, yeah, of the yeah. chocolate. Okay, well, well, I save the best for last. Here's number four, and I honestly think this one is actually the best. But tell me what you think. Tell me what okay. you think. Mm. Oh no! Wait a minute. This is hitting just the right spot on the whole fudgy versus cakey continuum. So this and is your favorite. You think yes, this is the best one? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you like this one. You want to have another bite of number four, don't you, Mark? Yes, I do. Yeah, here, here, take it. Oh, mm. well, thank you. You're welcome. You know, now that we've had some brownies and, and you've given me your opinion, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to maybe go into a different room of the house? Maybe not here mm. in the hallway, in the front room? What do you think? Maybe we could go try these out in other places in your house? Yeah. Let's go to the kitchen. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm having a meeting out there. Oh. Come with me, I'll show you what I mean. A meeting, okay. All Here right, all right, you guys. Oh my gosh, you are having a meeting in your kitchen. All right, all you cats, <laughs> attention. Okay. All the cats are sitting around the kitchen table. Hammurabi, Parnell, Richelieu. Flash, are you here too? How yeah. about that? <laughs> yeah, Flash um, is offering us his expertise in locating missing persons. We oh, haven't Sarsfield, had... right. We're still right. looking for Sarsfield. We're still Sarsfield. looking for him. And, um, and Pugsy over there, well, he's he's barely of any use at all. What? Yes, I'm what? talking to you, Mr. President. Well, gosh, who's Mr. this President. cat over here? This isn't one of your kitties, is it? This is Emily Andre. Hi. I Emily showed her a picture cat. of of Sarsfield on Kidder, the cat dating application. Sh and sure. she I just she oh, loved uh, the intelligence well, of his face. And Hi, cats. I I guess, but I'm sorry, you're having a meeting to, to get the cats to try to look for Sarsfield? Is yes, that most, what this most is about? everybody in the town has either looked or they've looked half heartedly. Um, I saw Johnny99 poking around one garbage can at the gaso station and he gave up. That, that might not have been looking for the cat, though. He sometimes does he, that. He anyway. just does that, yeah. yeah. I know. Oh, and then Pugsy is here, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do, you, do you think the dog is going to help find the cat? No, <laughs> the dog is actually not helping. Every time oh. we work out a search strategy with Flash, himself there, Mr. President, just rolls his little puggy eyes at, yeah, I'm looking at you. Hey, little Pugsy, are you helping out too, buddy? Oh. Uh. Pugsy, stop that. Uh. Rose is my friend, and you will treat her with the respect she is due. You were supposed to have had a reputation as a man who appreciated the women. 
Uh, and no, I don't want to hear about how great a leader you were uh, or how you could organize this better. Teapot dog. dome scandal. That's what I have o- for you. Okay, okay. You're yelling at the dog now. Sarsfield, we've looked everywhere. We I haven't found know. him. And everyone in oh, town sweetie, seems I'm to have sorry. packed it in on him. Y- you know what? I'm still looking for Sarsfield, sweetie. I think we're going to find him. He can't stay gone for long. They say no. when a cat gets hungry, he'll come back home. So This would be so much easier. If I were my forest self, my senses are sharper, my sense of smell is keener, and I can go longer. Your forest self, I, I've been wondering if maybe when that happens to you, when it comes over you, and you have more increased strength and, and stamina and endurance. And endurance. And, you know, would a girl be safe around you during that time, do you think, Mark? Well, you need to understand that when I'm in that state, the veneer of civilization falls away. You really? Mark Shaughnessy, the man who reads books, uh-huh. who can talk at great length about them, who yeah. knows his feelings, uh-huh. he's put to the side. Oh. And in his place is something a little wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you think that's that's going to happen anytime soon? Maybe, is there anything I can do to maybe help bring that out in you a little bit? Maybe. I would be very careful. What if I get really close like this mm. and I wrap my arms around your back mm. like this and dig my fingernails into your back a little bit like Mm-mm. this? Oh, Rose. Yeah? Have we looked in your house? What? For the my, cat. Have we s- searched for Sarsfield? And, yeah, yeah, I totally searched in my house for Sarsfield. The, y- yeah, you don't maybe, have to worry about that Maybe at all. we could look again because maybe there's oh. a spot that we missed. Maybe the, No, it's such a mess up there with all the brownie stuff all over the kitchen. I, oh, no, please, you've you seen my place. It, no, I'm not It looks not like really a hand sure grenade went off in to... the public library. <laughs> no, you know what? Here, have another bite of this brownie. Mm. Isn't it good? This is the number four. This is the one you liked. And, it is good. And, yeah, and you don't want to come search my house, no, do I don't, you, Mark? I don't think we need to go search your house. No. We don't. No. Oh, you know, the cats are kind of looking at us funny. Is it okay if we go back in the living room? Yes. Okay, come on. Oh, yes. You're listening to Broken Alaska, radio's only ongoing improvised drama series on Space 101.1. Visit us on Facebook at Broken AK and catch up on previous episodes via your favorite podcaster. Back in town hall, Heather is working on some new yoga moves when Bert stops by. Moosey, 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 um. Heather! Oh, hi, Bert. Oh, hello, Heather. There you are. Oh, you've remodeled again. Well, yes. The romance stuff, the mayor, he just wasn't into it. And I know he really enjoyed watching all those beautiful people do yoga when he was on his little trek to the Caribbean. So I thought, yoga inspiring that will make him feel the moose spirit within I perhaps mean, look at the beautiful colored mats and the lavender incense can't you just feel the harmony and the energy Bert? is that a video of olivia newton john doing let's get physical oh yes that is one of the most inspiring videos of all time i have it on a loop hmm Good for you. Let's sit down for a minute. I have these lovely singing bowls. Mmm, doesn't that just make you feel so moose-like? Yes, that is the word I was going to say. So, Heather, do you actually do city business here anymore? Oh, of course. I mean, some of the filing cabinets are just a little tucked away behind that beautiful screen. Yes, yes, of course. I actually came in to get a permit because I need to expand the storage space for the Weiwei Tanonga Coffee Roasting Hut. The business has grown so much. Oh, well, that's wonderful about your business. Maybe it's all the wonderful energy that the mayor has brought back with him from the Caribbean. Oh, I'm sure that has something to do with it. Say, these yoga mats are very, very soft. You know, I, I might like something like this to lay on the floor. Sometimes my back goes out a bit. And... Yoga is the answer for everything, but especially back problems. Now, if you just lay down and let me help you breathe through one of my original poses that I created. Well, normally I would need to knock back a couple of kombuchas before <laughs> I do yoga, but I'll, I'll give it a go. All right. Just come down slowly and gently. Now I want you to put your right arm 
behind your head. Okay. And then take your left leg and wrap it behind your right thigh. Now, Ooh. Ooh. squeeze your left eye together and push your pelvis up. This is the enchanted owl. Now, as you say, who, who, your back pain should just be gone. I'm actually noticing my back a lot less because my leg kind of hurts in this position. Oh, I, oh, here's another one that's great for your back. Just stand up and put your arms out as wide as you can. Now, this is the balding bald eagle move. You must flap your arms and then jump on one leg and say, Kaka! 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 Beautiful! Oh, oh, be careful, Bert! Oops, I'm sorry. I, I knocked over the papers on your desk. Uh, let, let me help you pick them up. I'm oh, so thank sorry, Heather. Yeah, thank it's you. It's an official business. Uh, it's today's it's mail. Quite a sizable manila envelope. And, uh, oh, look, it's open. There's a. Oh, what's this? It's a. Black and white photograph. Oh, that's Mayor Frost. Uh, this looks like it was taken with some oh, telephoto oh, lens. There was men he's with. I don't know who these two, but this one is Don Hector, the head of the Caribbean Mafia. What? No, 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 no. Why would my beautiful, innocent Mayor Frost be meeting with the head of a mafia organization? Oh, my goodness. Yes, oh, Heather's. Bert. Some, you look like something's just suddenly clicked in your mind. Um... Oh, God, Bert. I think that those manila envelopes of cash that I was sending down to the Caribbean weren't going to the widows and orphans of Santa Domingo. I think they were going to pay off whoever was blackmailing Mayor Frost. Oh, I'm no. beginning to think that perhaps Mayor Frost isn't who you think he is. Oh, Bert, what have I done? Come here, let me give you a hug. <laughs> After his conversation with George, Brick has headed over to the Moshi Moshi Toibashi fish processing plant. It's a rusting old hulk of a ship that has sat long abandoned in the broken harbor. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, oh my, no, oh no, wait. Well, okay, that is a really big hole. My finger's not big enough to stuff that Joey? hole. Joey? Yeah, oh my gosh. Joey, what the devil are you doing down here? Thank God you're here, Brick. The ship has sprung a leak, in fact. The ship has sprung a gazillion leaks. I got ten fingers in ten holes, but there's at least 25 holes in this ship. Can I have some of your hands? Look what? at all these holes. What? Look, there's water everywhere. I know. You know, I looked at the ship on the way in, and I could swear it was listing. I don't know what it's doing. I just came down here to feed the stupid honey badger. It was another Lars failure for you, for God's sake. I, Lars is, yeah, he's off with kids in Denise and Scandinavia. They're in the, the IKEA library there okay. looking looking at really? they don't even have books there. They just have these stick figures and these little pencils and these instructions and I think the honey badger is all eating right, the right, ship. Wait a minute here look where is the honey badger? Give me a hand I came down I'm here. There, you're not having my hand. I need your hand. What We're gonna for? drown. Get this water coming ah, through there. Ooh in my eye. All right, like, look look I'll put a thumb in there all right. Look the water's up to my ankle already. Look, you are a little late. This thing is listing. Can't you feel that? What is that? Oh, oh, oh that's a lobster. Oh, little red. You swim off, little red. Oh, my God. Oh. This is not happening. Oh, geez. It's up to my knee now. I am getting wet here. This water is almost up to my thigh. We're going we're gonna to drown. Brick, take off your shoes right now and stick your big toe in that hole. All right, toe. Thank you. Why are we trying to save this ship? Whoa! 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 I'm getting nauseated. Oh, oh. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here now. We need to get out of here quickly. All right, all right. Like the lights this all is, went This is like off. Titanic. Oh! Go. Where's the stairs? Uh, just follow Where me. Are the st come on. Oh. oh! Just come out. I'm on the top of the ship now. Oh, we, can oh. Oh. we are tilting. No. Oh, this ship is starting to sink. If we don't jump no. off, <laughs> we got. What do you mean, no? That's the only way we're not going to sink. It's tipping. I think we no. need to jump. Yeah. No! Come on, you can swim. We can swim I, to show. I can't swim. What? I can't swim. You, you can't I swim? I can't swim. <laughs> Joey. Joey. What? This is off the record. I have uh, some very interesting information brother. about you. Do not ever tell anybody. This is off the record. 
oh my god i'm gonna go home and write this in my special edition for tomorrow headline brick can't swim saved by joey from sinking moichi boishi ship i'm not going joey I'm going down with a ship. Okay, okay, Captain Underpants. Thing you can decide You're if you want to jump down there. I'm gonna go. If, there, if, if you want to come, you follow that's... me. I'm going. Wait for me, Joey. Wait, I'm too young to die. One. Whoa! Two, no. Wait. Three. No. Whoa. Oh! At the town's only bar, the Twisted Dinghy, everyone is talking about the wreck of the Moshi Moshi Toibashi. Some are even writing songs about it, hoping to interest Canadian folk singer Gordon Lightfoot. So everybody, the ship had totally tilted. After we jumped off and got to shore, the whole ship sank. It went down. Oh Only the smokestacks are available. It was like Titanic 3. Well, it's amazing There's that something. you guys survived this. Here, I brought some brownies. You guys have some samples of my brownies. Let me pass them around while awesome. you're talking Thank about you. the ship. You bet. Thank you, Thank you, Rose. Well, it's really an end of an era. That ship has been docked here for 10 years or more. I thought Lars and the ship were going to go down together. That would have been a good solution. I don't know what effect this is going to have on our town. As head of the town council, I am very worried. W- what's going to happen when tourists come to town? What is the environmental impact going to be? Well, she w- I'm no marketing expert, but maybe we- Carlos could turn it into an adventure diving, diving through the yeah, wreck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, That's a great idea. God. Well, and do you oh think the Moshi Moshi Toibashi company is going to come back and, and be angry at us for sinking their ship? I mean, has anybody heard from that company in a while? It was their neglect that sunk the damn ship. Why why the hell? We're not responsible for that. I don't know if it was their neglect or it was that honey badger who sunk the ship. stupid honey badger digging all those holes. You wouldn't believe how many holes are in that ship. Besides, we can always blame it on Laws. He's the security guard. He should have been guarding it. And he's not here, so let's blame him. Yeah. Speaking of the honey badger, has anyone seen it? I'm hoping it went down with a ship. Well, it's caused enough problem in this town. I, I think we need to go find that honey badger. Joey, you said you didn't see it in the ship when you were there, right? I mean, if it was in the ship, it would have sunk, but it wouldn't have sunk because honey badgers could swim. They can swim. Joey. I know where we need to go. We need to go down underneath my shack into the gold mine. What are you talking mm, about? Why the gold mine? Gold mine? Nice. Because when Brick and I were down there today, we broke through the wall. And there's another tunnel on the other side. Another tunnel? Another tunnel. Another tunnel. What are you talking about? How large is it? It's pretty big. I I don't know. The honey badger dug that. My cat could be down there. We've got to go get him. I am not leaving him to the mercy of a honey Forget badger who can dig six your feet stupid tunnels. Cat, this honey badger might be eating people. If he's digging holes this big, do you know what he can do to a human? Oh what if he's breeding with the mountain We have diva. to go. We have to. George, you have helmets for us. You have flashlights. We I'm need to get oh, down into the mines and find the badger. Kill the honey badger. Okay, everybody, hold on here. here. Have another brownie. Have another brownie. Heather, oh, uh, Mark, have a brownie. brownie for, oh. here, George, have just another brownie. Just look, just, just, just Joey, get the honey badgers. We okay. have to get. Look, Sweetheart, I, I don't think you delicious. need to have. You know what? These I, brownies are really good. Uh, thank you, you guys. Yeah. Honey, you I don't think we need to go down into those tunnels at all. I mean, it's late at night and it's getting too dark already. And wouldn't it be much safer to do this? On another day, you guys. Yeah, yeah you know it really yeah. is. Yeah. It's dark yeah. and oh, probably. Yeah. Exactly. So, so here, here, have a seat. Everybody, sit down. We'll, we'll have another round of beers and have some more brownies, and yeah. and, and we'll figure the honey badger mm. thing out another mm. time. You are sit so down. right, Rose. Yeah. I hope that honey badger hasn't eaten Louise. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Broken Alaska, radio's only ongoing improvised drama series. Starring in this week's episode was George Birch Wirtz as George, Paul Einhorn as Brick, Michael Crowley as Mark, Carrie Aguila as Rose, Julie Bragg as Heather, Mike Fuller as Gordy, Bert, and the announcer, and Carol Sparer as Joey. It was written, directed, edited, and produced by Carrie Aguila and Mike Fuller. Music by Audionautics.com. We'd tell you what's coming up next time on Broken Alaska, but since it's improvised, you'll know as soon as we do.